How's it going? So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a really cool app. Um, you can see it in the title. You can photo scan with this app from your phone. It's totally free. It's a really cool app. So it's called Display.Land or Displayland. It's they're really cool. They reached out to me and asked me to talk about it. Though this is a sponsored video, I completely vouch for this app. I've played with it for about a week now, and the technology is really cool. The fact that I can make 3D models from my phone in the real world is an exciting technology and it speaks to what we can do with this kind of thing in the future. Uh, so let me show you the app, how it works, and yeah, this is really exciting stuff. All I have to do is download the app, open it up, and uh, you can go find something you want to scan. So I quickly went outside and found this box on the ground and I started going around it and you could see these little dots start to form showing you that it's seeing and picking up um, the notable things that it sees, things with contrast, all these objects. And as you go circle and circle and circle, it picks up more data, more texture data, and all that stuff. And then you can take that model from the app and throw it into Blender or Cinema 4D or whatever program you use, and it has that texture data. Now, the more you circle around your object, the more you scan, the better your, um, your scan will be. So you can go from very, very crappy scans to really good scans. It just depends on how much effort you put into those scans, which is really cool. Um, you can get some crazy professional stuff. Um, it all The app is also cool because it's also kind of a social media. You can go on the app and look at thousands of other people's scans. Um, some really cool stuff. Cars, buildings, like full environments. Some people's entire rooms are scanned into this app. It, it's, it's incredible. You don't need a DSLR and a stitching program to, to do 3D scans. It's really amazing. All right, so I did my scan of the little box outside. Uh, let's hop on over and let me show you how to download these things from the app in case you do want to use this app, which I would recommend it. It's super fun. Um, so let us let me show you how to actually make this thing. All right, so to import those models, it's super easy. Just hop on over into the app and we will uh, head on over to my account. So you click your icon right here for the account. Go to your um, saved, published model. So this is the guy right here I have. You can see it's spinning around. Just that simple box I scanned. Now you'll go over to this little arrow and go to download mesh. And what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna get the uh, OBJ, send link, and what I'm gonna do is just email it to myself, and then I'm gonna hop on over to my email and download that file from my email. All right, so this is these are the files you're gonna see right here uh, from the thing. All right, so now I'm gonna hop into Blender, I'm gonna delete everything, and I'll go to file, import, wave front OBJ. And they're going to go, and mine's called object. And then I'm going to select these two files, import, let it load, and then you'll have your object. So now we have this massive scene. And then if I go to material preview, we got the materials. And then you can use this. It's really cool. And then you have your topology. Fairly dense, but it's not crazy, so it's not going to overdo everything. And you can see this is the biggest part that I scanned. So this is going to be the dense the most dense part. So it's really easy and it's really cool. And then you can go in and just delete all this stuff that you don't want and then use this as a usable model in your scene. And this is amazing. This is incredible. If you put a good amount of work into this and really make some good quality stuff, you can come out with some incredible models that you can sell, do whatever you want with. It's, it's an incredible technology. So there you go. That's display land. You can go in the description. You can click it. You can download the app again. It's totally free. No strings attached. You can just go in, have a lot of fun, play with 3D scanning. So you can go in, 3D scan anything, pop it into Blender, make a really cool environment. One thing I'd recommend with these things, um, these really cater to apocalyptic environments because you have these low light scenes and it, it, it looks really cool. I even saw Ian Hubert using it and he's making some really cool things with it. So go download the app. It's really cool. Thanks for watching.